I thought the Houston police officer who was shot in the face by her own husband is telling us what she says really happened. An incredible story that she shares with us. Her husband told officers that he was trying to protect them from an intruder, but his own department found his story suspicious. Now she is sharing her story only with ABC 13's Brooke Taylor. Incredible story, Brooke. It is, and this was really difficult for her to just even speak to us. She says this is her husband, the man that she still loves and has always trusted. She says right now, though, it is important to tell her story as soon as she realized that she could have lost her life and just how serious this was. Sadaf Iqbal is permanently blind in one eye, now in need of a prosthetic eye after police say her husband, who's an HPD officer, shot her in the face. She's sharing her story only with 13. You aimed for me. You aimed at my head with a rifle. Like, why would a person want to defend somebody, no matter how much they love them? Her husband, Ghalib Chowdhury, is charged with aggravated assault and has since posted his $125,000 bond. He said he loved me more than anyone in this world. Why would you put the person you love the most in a hospital? She says hours before the shooting, he was sending her angry text messages confirmed by officials. He texting first thing at me saying that I'm cheating on him with people from the past that are irrelevant. Iqbal says when she walked into the apartment, it got even uglier. He comes out and starts yelling. I remember being shoved on the wall and look at him and be like, you've never raised your hands at me. You never did this to me, so why? I was like, babe, why are you, like, stop. Like, you never did this. He's like, you think I can't kill you? And comes out with a rifle. She says he became apologetic, called 911, and fabricated a story. He's like, I'm an HPD officer. My wife has been shot. There was an intruder. He was like to me, babe, let's say it's an intruder. Somebody broke in, and I missed, and I, you came in the way. I was like, I was like, okay, okay. But his own department wasn't buying it. Police say there were no signs of a break-in. At first, Stickball says she was going to lie for the man she loves. And it's hard to know that the person that you love so much hurt you, and it's hard to let that go. And I know there are women out there that feel that same way, but it's going to be hard. It's better to protect the ones that you love and yourself than to end up dead or somebody you love dead. An HPD says he has been relieved of duty, but he is still employed. I did ask her whether she was concerned with HPD investigating their own. She says this was never a worry for her because one officer's actions, she said, should never reflect the entire department. She is asking for help right now. She says she could really use it when it comes to all these surgeries and the cost. We'll have that GoFundMe on our website.